What's up everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be targeting Pompano. First things first, we're out here, um, we're about to go to the beach and um, jig along the, the jetties, hoping to catch some Pompano. This is the time of year uh, for Pompano fishing, so it should be good. I already got my, uh, my Pompano jig tied on, but if that doesn't work out, we'll switch out the game plan and uh, go target sheep's head. Picked up three dozen live fiddler crabs. Check them out. Do you think? Do you think I can catch sheep's head with that uh, that size fillet crab? I don't know. Maybe. They do eat little small stuff like barnacles, so I wouldn't doubt it. But we're gonna set these here for now and um, go jig for pumping up a little bit. Hopefully, we crush it. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. We just got to the uh, the jetty here and that water is coming in it's super high already. I believe high tide's gonna be around three o'clock and it's gonna be like three foot. Hopefully the, uh, the pompano are, are running. Um, the guy behind me caught one already. He's got one in his, uh, his bucket. So that's a good sign. He's hooked kind of weird. I don't know what it is. He's probably snagged. Oh yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Well, snag on the, uh, the little fin. I knew he felt kind of weird. Let's get this guy back in the water though. Little dude, they gotta be 11 inches to the fork. This guy is uh, too short. See you guy. Let's try to get a keeper. <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to catch a pompano, but it happens when you're jigging, you know? Sometimes you hook them on the wrong end. I know I said I was gonna be uh, fishing for sheep's head, but I just couldn't resist, man, because I know the pompano are running. Um, we're at a new spot now, new location, jigging for pompano. Hopefully we get on to some, uh, some keepers. That's a, that's a pompano right here. Small though, he feels like he's small. Feels like he's small though. Yeah, that's a little guy there. We have to let him go. Man, he's thrashing like crazy. There we go. Little guy. We just pulled up to our secret spot. We're underneath this uh, this little bridge here. Hoping the, uh, the sheep sets are here. The other day I came out here on the kayak. They were stacked up underneath this bridge here. So we'll see, hopefully they're, um, hopefully they're still around. Here we go. There's one. <laughs> Little guy. How small this dude is, man. How small he is. Smallest sheep of the year right here for me. <laughs> so cool though, man. One day this guy's gonna grow up to be one of the studs that you guys will be out here catching. I'll let him go, right here. See him. Giant. He took it, he took it. Oh my gosh, dude. That's so sick. He took it right in front of me. No way. This guy came out of nowhere, cruised up to one of the rocks right in front of me. And he inhaled that small mangrove crab. That's a freaking tank of a sheepy. Look at that, dude. Thank you. Yeah. See if he can try to flip him here. Look at this. The tank of a sheepy. Oh yeah. That's a solid, solid uh, sheep's head right there. It's probably 17, 18 inches. He took that crab right in front of me, man. Wish you guys can see it, but the tick was insane. It was so sick. Let's measure it real quick. Let's see how big it is. Zero. That is 17 and a half. Solid. All right, let's throw this guy in the box. We're gonna show you how to clean him up later. Let's hope, uh, let's hope we catch like a few more. Should be plenty. All right, let's get back fishing. So basically I'm just hooking this, uh, this crab right underneath and then going out like that on the side to blend in with uh, one of his legs. That's how I like to hook it. Oh my gosh, he took it.
Might be a keeper here. It's pretty decent. I don't know, man. He might be small. Yeah, we'll let him go. He's small. Fun none nonetheless, though. You know, if you guys are looking to get on some action, you cannot go wrong with uh, sheep's head fishing. It's a lot of fun. Especially when you get ones bigger than him. Good stuff. Let's throw him back. Mangrove snapper. <laughs> it's a baby mango. Look how small that guy is. They gotta be 10 inches. Might be 11 now, but this guy's definitely small. See ya. All right, let's really go to a different spot and try to find bigger sheep's head. Let's go. Oh. Good fish, a different sheep's head took it. Smaller guy. He's a little bit smaller. Let's let him go. Man, the one I was seeing, he was bigger. <laughs> there it is. He's small though, man. Let's bring him up. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's, he's a little small. We'll have to let this guy go. Good deal. Little dude. All right, we're gonna put this guy back in the water. He's, he's probably a keeper, probably 12 inches, but we want ones bigger than him. All right, see ya. There it is. Good one. Finally ate it. Finally got him to bite. Oh no. That is a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's been a slow day. Um, caught two small pompano, a few small sheep set and one really big one, but we're here at the filleting table. I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet sheep's head. I bled him out, so he's a, uh, his meat should be a little bit cleaner. That right there is a solid sheep's head, 17 and a half inches. Here's where I like to start when I'm filleting the sheep's head or any fish really. Cut behind the uh, pectoral fin like that. Make sure you have a sharp knife, go down along the uh, dorsal fin. Oh yeah, that meat is uh, looking Looking clean, honestly. If you guys have not uh, bled your fish, you should try it. You'd be amazed. Look how clean that um, that fillet is. There's barely any blood lines there. Usually these sheep's head, if you don't bleed them, their um, their meat is kind of like reddish. Typically, when I'm filleting the sheep's head, I do like to cut behind the uh, or cut around the rib cage. Come take a look. This is the rib cage right here. You can you can bust through it if you want to. Um, if you got a good good set of like boning knife, but I like to just cut around it and go down on the other side. Bust through on the other side like that, and just work your way all the way down to the tail end. Pretty good chunk of a uh, fillet right there on one side. Oh yeah. Boneless, skinless fillet. Let's get the uh, skin off it. Point your knife to, to an angle like that and just slowly work it back and forth. Not the best uh, filleting job there, but still a good amount of fillet there. Let's put that fillet. It's a good, good chunk right there. Nice and clean. Look at that, you can see through it. Not really, but you get what I mean. It's super clean. Now let's get the other side. Same thing. Cut behind the the head, pectoral fin, and then go down the uh, dorsal fin, all the way down, work your way up. Actually cut it all the way down first. I kind of cheated right there, but you want to cut it all the way down here. Lift that skin up, run that knife along the bones. You'll feel the bones too. Sheep's head, catch and clean. I need to do a catch and cook sheep's head. It's been quite some time now since I've uh, done catch and cook on sheep's head. Same deal. Just work that knife along the bones, man. Angle that knife like that and just go along the bones like that. Just like that. And then once you get all the meat off the bones, bust that knife through the other side like so. And just cut it all the way down to the end. 
the tail end. Again, I'm just gonna cut over or around the rib cage on this. Not bad right there. This guy is going in the water. Boneless, skinless. Let's get the uh, skin off it. Oh yeah. Good stuff right there. Just get the bones off, the pin bones. I like it to be boneless and skinless. That is a pretty clean fillet right there. There's a little rib, there's a little bone right there. <laughs> little bone. All right, it's pretty decent. Actually, we're gonna wash this guy. That's it. That is how you fillet a sheep's head. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.